Hey, what's going on everybody? In today's tutorial, I'll be covering how to set up a wireless barcode scanner with the Raspberry Pi. So let's discuss some of the components that you'll need for this tutorial. The first thing that you'll need is a Raspberry Pi. In this case, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4. And then the second item that you'll need is a wireless barcode scanner. And I'm using the Nautamu wireless barcode scanner. You can find a link for all of these components in the description below. I also want to make a note that I'll be posting an official write-up to my website that includes all the setup instructions and code for this tutorial. And you can find that link in the description. So moving on to the physical setup process, it's fairly straightforward. The first thing we're going to do is take the provided USB dongle and plug it into any available USB port on the Pi. So once that's done, you can go ahead and boot up your Raspberry Pi and open up a terminal interface. So I just SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi. If you're using the GUI, that's totally fine too. You can just open up a terminal and follow along. So the first thing that we need to do is install the EvDev package. So what EvDev does basically is, is allows us to get all the events from the USB dongle and then derive the, the barcode. So just a note on this command here, you can see that I'm specifying version 1.2 0.0. So I ran into an issue installing the latest version at the time of this recording, which was 1.3.0. So that's why I'm specifying uh, it here. So let's go ahead and install the package. So now that we've installed the package successfully, the, the next thing we need to do is verify that the USB device is detected and working properly. So we need to run a test script that comes pre-bundled with avdev. So we're going to run sudo python3 and then navigate to this path uh, slash user local lib python 3.7 disk packages avdev av test. So when we hit enter, um, you should see the ID, the device path, the name um, of the device. So I don't have a USB or keyboard plugged into the Pi. It's just the USB dongle. So that's why I'm just seeing this one entry here. But this this name here is uh, particularly important because we're going to use it in our script. So just make sure you take note of that. And we can see that the path points to uh, event zero. So in select devices, just enter zero and hit enter. So now it's listening for events. So if we take the barcode scanner and scan any barcode, we should see the raw event data. Okay, so at this point, we know that our USB barcode scanner is working. So we can hit Control C to exit out of this and just clear the screen. So at this point, um, we've just exited the test script. And if you notice that your terminal is behaving weirdly, just go ahead and exit the session and reopen up a new terminal. So now I'm going to quickly run through the script and give you a high level idea how it works. So just like looking at lines one through three here, we're just importing the necessary libraries. And then line five, if you remember the EV test script, the device name, we just have the value set here. And then uh, the blocks 7 through 15, this is just a lookup table for all the corresponding ASCII codes um, because the event data isn't in the proper format. So yeah, just skipping to the, the main block here, we'll just, this is where sort of the core logic exists. Um, so lines 26 through 33 is uh, where the script dynamically is looking for the device path. So because we specified the name here, it will look for the device and, and if it's found, it will um, instantiate this uh, dev object. But if it can't find anything, it will just drop out of the script and let you know that it couldn't find the device. Um, once that's done, uh, it starts this read loop. So basically, uh, that raw event data that you saw, this loop will just go through and process that information for the uh, necessary barcode information. So what's happening here um, on line 44 is we're catching only the key down events and getting rid of everything else. And then on 45, we're taking 
each of those events and looking up the corresponding ASCII value. So basically you can think that um, it's it's getting each character and what we're doing with that with each character is we're building the barcode. So on line 46, we are testing to see if we uh, retrieved an, an enter value. So if it doesn't have an enter value, it takes the character and it appends it to this barcode string. So after the string is built and it detects the enter value, it will print the entire barcode and then it will clear it out so that way it's ready to start building the next barcode value. So just a quick note here, uh, this script is pretty basic. It's just gonna print out the barcode value, but if you have a use case where you need to send that value to an API or log it in some sort of database, this is where you would um, put that logic. So that's basically uh, the rundown of the script. So let's go ahead and see it in action. Okay, so we can go ahead and run the script. Uh, just to note, because we're interacting with the OS at a very low level, we're gonna have to run Python with sudo. So we're gonna type sudo python3 and then the name of the script. So in this case, I've named it barcode wireless and hit enter. So um, yeah, just sort of ignore this deprecation warning. It's because we're using the uh, device name instead of the path to find the device. Um, this doesn't have any effect on the script, but now it's just listening for events. So we can go ahead and scan items. So I'm gonna do that right now. So yeah, there you can see that it's actually posting the correct value and that concludes the tutorial for today. So just a quick note that you can use this approach with any other USB based hid uh, barcode scanner. You're just gonna have to massage the script a little bit and ensure that your device path and name are correct. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. I also started a Patreon recently, so any donation will be greatly appreciated. Stay tuned for upcoming content and happy hacking. Peace.